Hi, welcome to this pacifist guide for Cuphead. If you're watching this right now, it means you are trying to get the pacifist achievement or challenge completed in the game. And doing so unlocks a very special visual option. Which takes us back to the old days. As you can see. But, doing this is going to be tricky. As in order to win, you're going to have to beat all six run and gun levels without shooting your gun. And we're going to go through all of them today. Now, some suggestions have been to switch in the Twin Heart Charm, which gives you two attack points or two hit points. I found that to be a mistake. Because the Smoke Charm for your Invincible Dash is, I think, a lot more crucial for getting past some of the trickier aspects. And hopefully I'll be able to do this all in one shot, but you guys will only see the finished product. So, let's jump into our first level, and hopefully not get into any trouble. Alright, welcome to the first run and gun. This level starts out fairly easy, but there is a very big point of no return. Now because we can't attack these enemies, it is very important that we keep moving to keep them from staying on the screen. Now I have the invincibility super slide in, but something tells me we're not going to get a chance to use it. We'll try and despawn that acorn. And this is the point. I need to get both of these guys to shoot. And there we go. All you gotta do is get across there. You have to use the pink shot from those mushrooms or you will not be able to bounce off over the acorn maker. And you can't dash through it either. And again, we're, we don't care about health in this. So it's just about getting through without firing our gun and there's our first pick. All right. That didn't take too long to do, but let's see what happens at our next level. Okay, level two. This one is actually, I think, a lot easier than the first one to go for the pacifist. As long as you are good at jumping. And of course, using our shadow dash to basically break this part. I didn't want to risk it here. Get out of there, you. Come on. Oh, I can't let I miss that. And again, it's actually easier, I think, to talk or to show than it is to explain this at the speed I'm going. But again, I'm using the shadow dash to go through enemies here. And just using it to get as fast as possible. Speed is not required for P rank. But it does make things easier to keep things from spawning. And there you go. You don't even need to fight that guy. And some of the strategies for the pacifist rank can actually be used for speedrunning. There we go. So that's two down, and there's only two run guns per world. So I'll see you all in a minute in World 2 for when things get trickier. Alright, welcome to the carnival, folks. This is going to be a tricky one, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be restarting this several times. This part's actually easier by the fact that we know we can't shoot. Again, shadow dashing for the win. Now for the fun part. We can dash through them. We want to stay high up, just so we have the clearance for avoiding some of these things. Now, hopefully I can do this, but we'll see. Nice. Now, these balloons are very important, because I'm going to be needing them. Let's see. Can we get a balloon here? Alright, screw it. 
Just take the hit and keep going. I'm not afraid of pretzel, man. As long as we can get through this with one point of health, I should be good. I'm taking things a little bit slower because we already took a hit. Oh no. Can we make it over him? Uh, let's see. There we go. Sorry, don't or hot dog man. But yeah, that the trickiest part was inside the tent with those cannons. You can take the hits if you want, but it's better if you can angle your dash in between them so you can just get right across. I haven't found a way to get past the duck launching guy without just taking one point of damage. I think you need to either lure a balloon or maybe use the spell from that magician. But that was one of the harder ones. Our next one should be a lot easier, I hope. Alright, this level can be tricky. It's one part RNG and one part just skill when it comes to dashing. We can dash through their mouths after they launch the car. Like so. Oh, damn. Now the tricky part is going to be right here. I ah, screwed up. Well, can we do it? We're still in it, folks. Just one last trick. Wait for it. Yes! Woo. Sorry for not talking too much on that one, but it's just easier to <laughs> let it happen. But you really need to use the shadow dashing to clear those gaps and get around those annoying jacks at the end. But yeah, when it comes to those walls, as long as you can get through their mouths, it speeds things up quite nicely. But that was probably the second hardest for the pacifist, but we got a few more left before we can call it completed. All right, this is definitely the hardest of the levels to shadow. I'm not even going to <laughs> pause the video there because I want to show you how hard this level is. These guys are going to be tracking and we have to keep moving in order to avoid everything. Now you gotta wait for him to stop attacking there in order to shadow leap over. You could also just do a normal one. Now for this part, the hurt box is not the entire step, which is how I avoided that. Now for this part, every other dragon will be a pink shot. Ooh, that was close. Come on. Almost there. Now there's a really good strategy for speed running. Oh, jeez, almost got hit there. <laughs> for this next section, as soon as we deal with these annoying little goat people. Okay, gotta wait for him to shoot at least one. Then we leap over there. Dodge that. And the same trick here. Wait for him to finish yawning. And leap. Oh, you. Alright, we're almost there. Let's see if we can stick the landing, folks. This is serious time, because I'm already up to like try eight or nine of this one level. Because I know how far my dash is, I'm going to use that to cross the gap just to guarantee it. Hopefully it won't screw myself over in the process. Uh oh. Woo-wee! Oh, I thought he was going to hit me there. 
Oh my goodness. But yeah, this was definitely the trickiest one. You really need to pay attention to the hurt boxes and your shadow dash in order to make it through. I am really glad I got that recorded. But there's one more left and we'll see how hard it is next. Alright, we're on the final level now. And thankfully it's not as stupidly difficult, but the auto-scrolling at the very end and these random fish are sure to drive you loopy. Dash right through them. If you're good enough and lucky, you can parry slap all the pink fish and try to build your super that way. Now for the annoying part, old man crabs. Right, I'm gonna stop right here. Because he's gonna not come back this way. And he just made me a damn liar, didn't he? Ooh, wait. I may just leave this part in just for how bad as that dodge was. <laughs> but we're almost at the auto swirl, and this is the trickiest part because you're basically having to balance three things at the same time. Okay, there's one hit. And it is serious time. while I attempt to do this. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Can't shoot. Must not shoot. And we did it. Ooh wee. I'm glad my most badass run <laughs> counted for that. But that is it. All six run gun levels completely pacified. You guys didn't see all the attempts it took, but it is not easy, even if you know what you're doing. But if you're trying to speed run the game, some of these strategies are pretty sound. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you the hints and proof that it is possible to do it. If you're new, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games. I need to take a break after all that, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. For my writings as well as weekly podcasts, check out game-wisdom.com. For ways of supporting Game Wisdom and get access to rewards such as VIP status, as well as voting for the Saturday Night Grab Bag, check out patreon.com slash GWBicer. You can follow me on Twitter at GWBicer for my daily thoughts as well as updates as to what's going on. So thanks again for watching, and be sure to check out our next video coming real soon to the channel.